Today we're playing Ducks in a Bucket. Do I need my glasses? I don't think for this one I need my glasses. I'm wearing my glasses so I don't look older. Ducks in a Bucket is a cute little dice game uh, with some interesting strategy to it. Uh, you can play with any number of players. I've got four players, myself included. I have this lovely zebra wood capstone. I have a cowrie shell and a yellow sharpie. And we are going to be trying to collect the best poker hand by the rules of Ducks in a Bucket. It's not quite poker. It's um, a straight is better than a full house. And of course, there's no flushes or anything, but uh, that's ultimately the scoring. You need five dice that match and another die that's a different color. This is the boss die. This is the permission die that lets you decide which of your other dice you get to keep. So from all the dice I rolled, I can promote either dice that are five or dice that add up to five. I'm moving them from the rolling pool into my final hand. Uh, so I could take both of these fives or I could take this three plus two, but I can't do all of that. And all of it is because my boss die is a five on this roll. So I keep these fives and that's my hand or I can decide to keep going. But there's a chance that if I keep going, I might get stuck and lose everything. Uh, I'm going to keep going. So I re-roll everything except the dice that I locked. Now I've got a three, a two, a five, and a six, and I can't promote anything. None of this is three. None of this adds up to three. I'm not dead yet, but I have to throw away one of my dice. So I'm going to get, I'm close to dead. I need to promote at least one more die. Now that I've committed, I have to promote another die or else I get nothing. Uh, that's a six on the boss die and a one and a two on the bottom. So that's no good. I have one more chance to stay alive. Uh, and I lose, so I don't even get my pair of fives. Okay, I'll record a nothing for me on that round. Now it's the capstone's turn. That is a two. What can I promote? Uh, nothing, so I'm going to have to lose something. There's a six. I can promote that six. Uh, and I think, yeah, I'll keep going. A six isn't all that good of a hand. Uh, there's a one. I can promote this one and go again again or stay put. I'll go again. There's a four that lets me do nothing. And there is a five that lets me do nothing. So I also get nothing. I'll just put down a little nothing for the capstone too. I'm pressing my luck more than I should in this game. Let's try what the cowrie can do. The six says I can promote the six or dice that add up to six. Uh, I could promote the five and the one, or I could promote just the six. I'll promote just the six and see what happens. Uh, here's the six that lets me push up another six, and I'm almost last in the running, and so I'm going to let that go. I will be totally happy just to have a pair of sixes. So I record for the Cowrie a score of six and six. And now it's Yellow Sharpie's turn just to try to beat a pair of sixes. Uh, I've got a five. With that five, I can promote the one and the four, so I'll do that. Uh, with this five, I can promote the one and the four again, and that gives me two pairs, fours and ones. So yellow sharpie wins with four, four, one, one. Let's play another game. Um, you're going to move who goes first. Obviously, going first is pretty bad in this game, so we'll let the capstone go first this round. Capstone rolls a three and can promote a pair of threes and could just stop. All right, so capstone's going to stop with a pair of three. It's Cowrie's turn. The six lets Cowrie promote five and one. Now, you always have a choice not to and just throw a die away instead or to promote some of what you could promote and not all of it. There are definitely choices to be made there, but if I want to stay alive, I'm promoting the five and the one. Uh, I roll a six and I get two more sixes. And yeah, I'm going to stop with six, six, five, one. Now, the five and the one aren't nothing because someone else could get a pair of sixes but without these kickers, and that would make my hand even better. So I record every die in my hand, and now it's yellow Sharpie's turn. Sharpie rolls a three and gets, let's see, lots of options. I could promote these two threes, or I could promote a two and a one. I cannot promote the one, two, and the three. Uh, to make a straight, I would need all five dice, so that's not a straight in and of itself. But let's promote two threes and see if I can get another one. I've got to roll a three on the boss die, too, to make that happen, though. Or uh, if I had a six, I could promote two threes with it. Uh, the six can promote 
Oof, the five and the one, but that's still not enough to beat a pair of sixes. I've got to go again. I got a five and a two, that's nothing, and so the Sharpie flames out. And now it's down to me to beat a pair of sixes. I got a one, which is not promoting anything. I have to throw away a die and go again. I got a two, which lets me promote a pair of ones. That's not nothing. I could get another one and get out of here. The two lets me promote a two, but I'm still not out. I could get two pair though. Not a lot of options yet. Oh, I've got a two and a one. This will not allow this to be promoted. And so my hand is too, well, my hand is nothing because I rolled and couldn't promote anything. So we have a winner here, the Coward with 6651. Well, that's it. That's how you play uh, Ducks in a Bucket. It's a super simple game. It's got a little strategy to it and, of course, uh, positional advantage and all kinds of other things. There's more details of the game and a full rule book to be found at crabfragment.com. Thanks for playing with me, and I'll see you at the table. Crab Fragment Labs is basically my personal playground. I started this up to do what I love doing, which is to make games, and honestly, I am sick of trying to sell them, so I'm giving them away for free. Almost everything at Crab Fragment Labs is completely free. Games, articles, short fiction, lectures, videos, everything I do, uh, more or less, but I uh, still have to pay rent in my life, and so if you would like to help out, if you like what I'm doing here at Crab Fragment, please join us on Patreon. Give us $5 a month, become a hermit crab, and help us support what we're doing at Crab Fragment Labs. Thanks so much, and I will see you at the table.